All right, third season, Trapped Spiking. in Limbo. Yeah. How quickly is she getting out? <laughs> um, I, I want to tell you guys everything, but you'll understand after the first episode. I'll say that we don't drag anything on longer than we need to. Okay, so, but it's been a year and a half. A year and a half in Limbo. What's that been like with that? Well, I think uh, the way the show sees Limbo is something that's really interesting. And we have to see that in the first episode. It sort of seems to be like a cycle. What's new? You can go home now. So you got the imagine your worst nightmare and your biggest anxieties living that over and over and over in the loop. Does she is she able to see outside of the loop and recognize that she's got to get back to a life that she wants? Yes. Okay. So that's her soul like motivation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So she had regrets making that decision now that she's kind of had to endure all this. You mean going to limbo? Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I think it's, it's a constant conflict for her. She, she really did make the ultimate sacrifice by going back to rescue the people that she's wrong. Then. I think a big part of her dilemma is that are, are her doubts and the fact that maybe she made a mistake and really has no impact on this world, wherever she is now. So I think that's something that is in her all the time. What's her strength in her? What's really, besides just the motivation to get away, what's her strength that she's clinging to? Pretty all right, but they're looking for these guys. Well, I think one thing that Sally's learned in, in a way that she's learned throughout the last two seasons is she's become quite brave, I think. And I think it takes a tremendous amount of guts and bravery to even consider going into this completely unknown world to, to fix these mistakes that she's made. And so I think one thing is gave it that time. She recognizes in herself like this new found in, bravery and is sort of clinging right to the that. On a lighter note, <laughs> what's been the funnest thing about playing Sally at this point in her journey? Well, at two, this point, if they just wrapped up tidy, um, honestly, like I love seeing her grow. Um, um, I really yeah. see, so really especially they, they, looking at the scripts in the third time. season. I've, uh, I feel like I'm reading a different character, and that is so exciting for me. Like, I love seeing change in characters, and I feel like our writers are so amazing with that. It's been, it's been really exciting. Okay, assuming she gets out of limbo at some point yeah. this season, what's going to be like her? one thing she's going to really love to be able to do again. <laughs> um, hmm. I think just talk with the guys and just talk about nothing and not worry about these life and death dilemmas that she's been going through for the entire second season. I think just that little piece of normalcy, why she wanted to stay with the guys and found a family with them in the first place is the fact that it's a connection to this human world that they lost. And I think she's all she wants is to get back to that. She's looking forward to like Saturday nights, right? Night, Nice yeah, for sure. Life. Yeah, yeah just she misses her family. Yeah. Okay, and what would you describe as the theme of the season? The theme of the season is be careful what you wish for. So, <laughs> I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. Do you? Yes. Do you know what's happening? I do. And I'm okay. Yeah. So, okay. So she wished to correct the, the wrongs of her past. Now that she's gotten there, she's like, okay, maybe that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And I think, you know, Sally is always on this mission to... I don't know, to, to find well, something, a lot of their to get to this to a new stage. I think she's always just trying to so, so if you have live a life that is okay with her, that is happy. Stuff, but what's right ironic is what she considered to be happy uh, in her great, life when she was alive is something completely different now. And I don't know if for uh, any of these people and, uh, they'll ever be and I'm just truly really happy really in the way that they so really just consider happiness to be right. in their life before these supernatural afflictions happen to them. Well, thank you for your time tonight. We're looking forward to getting her get out of limbo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to ask that. Okay, that's